Shireen Dabas, we have uh, Denai Gurira, we have The Fighting of Shirley Chislam. So we were speaking of Maggie Betts, and this is actually a project that she was attached to. And we recently got a peek into this personality, Shirley uh, Chislam, uh, through Miss America. So I think it's fun that we get to see an expanded look at what that 1972 political run might look like in a two hour runtime. So yeah, perhaps let's comment on this project and the sort of like the elements that have been brought to it. Sure, so the fighting uh, Shirley Chisholm, this is a pretty cool um, story. Uh, so we have Cherry and D Davis uh, who is directing, uh, Denai Guerrero who will star, um, and it, it's an interesting one. It's another Amazon project that's been in development a little while. Viola Davis was once involved, but I guess no longer involved anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and you're right, this was a, a, a plot line that threaded through the excellent um, Mrs. America, but it certainly deserves um, its own story. I mean, it's about, you know, the first um, black female member of Congress, uh, who also becomes the first person of color uh, to try and get the Democratic Party nomination. And as we saw in the series, there was just a lot of um, things that she had to fight against both inside the party and fight inside um, the feminist, feminist movement and outside just with the public in general, just to just to to do what she wants to do. So it's a remarkable story and I think it's a it's a pretty cool character. It's a great character for, for an actress to play. For the actress, she's a little bit less buzzy than Viola. Um, I discovered her through Andrew Dussumo's, um, wait, the Sun Muse first two feature films, which was Restless City and The Mother of George. Both of those premiered at Sundance. She, she's very she's a very picky actress i was looking at her imdb page and she only has a couple projects a year she's not uh in cape blanchette territory so I, I was i was i was reminded that she's very picky about her projects now she's sort of like fallen into like more popcorny territory and as far as the director is concerned she was she hit it out of the park with a couple of smaller indie films uh, that were at sundance with america and uh, May in the Summer, uh, which was a 2013 release. But since then, she's gradually moved to television with the center and, and more, uh, more, peculiar, um, more specifically, Rami. Uh, like a, that was a huge deal for A24. I believe it's their first TV series. And so she shot half a dozen projects there. So she's in a major uptick in her, in her career. And I'm quite happy to see her fall back into feature after having done a lot of different directing gigs in television. Yeah, it's a cool move. It's a cool um, step for the director. But I mean, let's not underplay Denai Guerrero too much. I mean, she's a big part of the Marvel universe um, yeah. as well, and was and broke out on The Walking Dead, which was a huge, which is a huge show. I mean, obviously things that we don't talk about here. But I mean, she's not an unknown by any sense. Um, uh, but yeah, you're right. The last past few years, it's mostly been the Marvel world. But this is, you know, if you're going to step out of it into a project, this is certainly a great one to do that with. Yeah, and to take on somebody who is like an iconic figure in the women's movement, it's going to be a huge shoes to fill. And if we sort of like project where this might be in the release date, this might actually be through Joe Biden's, like the midway point of his, his, his presidency. So that means like we can look at Kamala Harris and say, well, we can make a link there politically if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm Eric Lavallee. I'm editor in chief and site owner for ioncinema.com. And this is Kevin Jaggernaut, contributing writer for the playlist. And together we are Indie Sponge.